when you talk about those altitudes 5000 and above do you is there any any risk of suffering from what we call hypoxia like a, a... um uh, from 5000 listen um the risk comes from altitude above 7000 ah, okay. i'm talking I'm talking vis-a-vis a regular per- person with no specific issues okay. so if you are just a normal person you have no health issues you shouldn't have any problems uh, going up uh, above 5000 meters uh, especially when you do your job uh, what i'm saying is your job means when you do acclimatization days so there is a prep means- there is some sort of preparation before you start there is preparation exactly uh, acclimat- um, acclimatization day is uh, is the following uh, if let's say you want to go above 5000 you need to 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 go to that altitude a day before sleep at a lower altitude so you go you climb a 5000 mountain meters mountain you go down you sleep at 4000 and then you go up again the next day so that you help your body acclimatize you know so if you do that, because when we did the average base camp track, we did we had two acclimatization days before we went above five thousand meters. When I did Kilimanjaro, which is even higher, it's almost six thousand meters. It's five thousand nine hundred meters. I did also two acclimatization days before. When you do these, the the human uh, body and and the uh, the breathing uh, system that we have. Do acclimatize. I can adapt. Uh, they can adapt to this change. Relatively easier, easy. But the problem starts from seven thousand meters and above, uh, because the oxygen oxygen level really drops at Kilimanjaro, which is um, almost six thousand meters. I'm gonna say it's like forty percent less oxygen than sea level, almost half uh, the oxygen level. It's fine. It's not recommended to stay too mm-hmm. long, but if you go above f- f- 7,000, you need uh, oxygen masks. Okay. Uh, go above. Above 8,000 meters, if you climb Everest, you definitely need those above 8,000 meters, and it is called uh, the death zone because no one knows how your body will react to an 8,000 meters plus altitude. So it is definitely not it's only... Low, it's very low in oxygen, right? Yes, and usually. you have to use oxygen mask. You have to use a mask. I see, I see. 